If you try, some of us not very hard at all, you'd probably find something to complain about. Things, people, ideas. But how often do we strategically direct them towards affecting real and positive change? And how often instead are they the validation-seeking, advice-ignoring, blame-placing sort? Let's talk about the latter. When you complain, you by default put yourself in the right. Something is not to your satisfaction, and the fact that it isn't is simply unacceptable. Just not enough to do something about it. In most scenarios involving humans, for you to be right, an other needs to be wrong. And so in complaining, you make the other into a straw man villain deserving of punishment. Yes, sometimes it is obvious that you are a victim, but pathologize this mode of thinking enough, and over time it will absolutely wither away the desire to take any sort of personal responsibility to better yourself. Listen to them, and the chronic complainers will tell you it's always someone else's fault, which relates to a persistent denial of your shadow, the personification of everything you refuse to acknowledge about yourself. What you cannot accept in others, you cannot accept within yourself, but it's there, whether you like it or not. And for many, this darker shadow aspect of themselves is subconsciously avoided and rejected. But the less it is embodied in our conscious lives, the blacker and denser it becomes. To accept our shadow is to understand the nature of malevolence itself and to take responsibility for it. You stop taking things personally. Petty events outside your control become exactly that, petty. And when confronted with true evil, you will no longer be helpless and pathetic, but instead stand strong with clarity and act in a way that is good for you and good for others. What is left to complain about?